Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make $1,500 up to $5,000 per month on top of your job. If you're one of those people who doesn't know what type of business that they want to start, this video is for you. One of the things I'm going to help you do with this whole process is to reshift your mental and to have you adopt the do more principle. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is to go to the front of the channel and begin watching videos from the beginning up until the day. I recommend two to three videos a day so you can become financially literate. All right, so let's say you are a person, you found this channel and you have a burning desire to start a business, but you don't know what kind of business you want to start. There are so many options on the table. So I'm going to give you a business model that you can start that doesn't take a lot of experience. It's called a service business. Essentially, what you're doing is saving people time. You could be a cook, you could be a chef, you could cut grass, you could wash cars. A service business is essentially the fastest way you can start a business with little to no cost and make significant money. This is something that happened many, many years ago when I was developing the course 30 days to 2500. This is the way that I did it. I would do a live webinar each night. And if you showed up for the live webinar, you got the training for free. If you wanted the recorded training, you had to buy the course. One day I was doing the webinar and then this gentleman by the name of Cleaver said, hey, I have no money. I am sleeping on my friend's sofa. I don't have a car. What can I do to make money? And this is the thing. Many people have skills that they don't know how to market. So Cleaver, I was like, best thing for you to do is start a service business. And we begin to have a dialogue. What do you know how to do? And Cleaver said, I'm really good with fixing computers. I said, go into town and find people who have computer issues. He took my advice. He went out, he found two new customers. Day one made $500. Within a year, Cleaver had bought the house that he was staying in. And this is a really feel good story. One of his original customers, he ended up marrying the niece of that customer. And this is the power of a service business. A service business essentially saves people time. It saves them money. And like I deploy a number of service businesses in my life. I have not washed my car in eight to 10 years. I have not cut my grass, same time frame. There's just like, if I need someone to do something, I will hire them because this is one of the lessons you need to learn. If you're running a business, your time is better spent on your business than washing your car, cutting your grass, or cleaning your house. And essentially, cleaning services can be extremely lucrative. This is something you can start with little to no money. You will have to learn how to advertise. Your biggest challenge with a service business will be getting customers because there you are, ready to serve these people, but they don't know you exist. So you've got to learn how to market. Here is one of the first things I would do if I was just starting from scratch and I wanted to make some money. I would hit up all of my Facebook friends and I would do it in this manner. I would individually, I would not do a group email because a lot of people check out of those as soon as they see it's a group email. But I was like, hey, this is what I'm doing and introduce your service business to your friends. I would hit up each and every friend. Um, many will say no, that's okay. And then the ones who would say yes, you would do the service and then you would ask them, hey, could you recommend me to two of your friends? And then you would watch, rinse and repeat. And after they recommend two of your friends, after you do the service, you would say, hey, could you recommend me to two of your friends? And this is how you build a word of mouth business slowly, because essentially when you first start off, you only have a handful of clients, but six months down the road, you will be so busy you will have to hire staff. 
Now this is one of the ways that you can start a service business while you keep your job. One of the things is I don't tell people to quit their job, to chase their dream, because essentially learning how to run a business is a grooming process. It's gonna take you some time to learn how to run the business. It's gonna take you some time to learn how to be the boss. So you need your job to provide income to take care of you and your household while your business grows. But I will tell you, if you start the right kind of service business, you can make significant cash flow to support your lifestyle. What I recommend that you do is you start your service business. I, I will give you the story of a client that I helped start a service business. He was starting a painting service. And I told him, I was like, you want to set this up where you are the boss from day one. Because typically this is where many people go wrong. They'll start doing the work and they will become the contractor, the boss and everything. And if you're doing all the work, if you start a service business, you're going to quickly reach a threshold where you can only serve so many clients and therefore limit your income. So the guy booked a consult and he says, look, I, you know, I want to start a painting business. How do I do this? And we walked through how he would start the painting business. First of all, he also got my Craigslist marketing course. He began marketing on Craigslist and he hired three painters. And once again, so what he did is he hired three painters, he got a website, and he started booking jobs and sending these three painters out to the job. The first week, the three painters made more money than he did. Let me get this straight. The three painters made more money than he did, but he was learning how to be the boss. And then the fourth week, he made more money than the three painters because essentially what he was doing was booking jobs, really low to get the job, to get the momentum moving. And at the end of a year, he had his main job, but his painting contracting service made him $250,000 on top of paying off his painters. Cause he had got to a crew where he had like six painters and they were, you know, he was doing the Craigslist marketing. Cause the, the big problem is when you start a service business as a regular person, you've got to learn how to market your services. So he went ahead, he kept marketing his services, marketing his services, kept his job. And at the end of the year, and also I directed him not to spend the money. I know this is what we're here for, to get the money, spend the money. I said, take this money. And I gave him my corporate banking system and I have them put this money here. He had to pay taxes. He had the money to pay the taxes. At the end of the year, after expenses and taxes, he had $180,000 sitting in the bank and he had his job. Now it's like, now you're in the position to sit back and to think about your next step. You have $180,000. You could expand the painting company. You could go literally hire six more painters, advertise harder. You, you have so many options. So what he chose to do was take a hundred grand and put it back into the company and then he took $80,000 and he put it in his pocket because he was only making like $50,000. So $80,000 cash was quite a bit of money. He was able to pay off bills. He paid off his car. He paid off all of his bills and he got his monthly nut down to like 2,200 bucks a month is what it was taking him to live. And then he expanded the painting company. And then the following year, he made over close to 750,000. And at the end of the year, once again, we had the corporate banking system. He had like 500, I think after taxes, he had $460,000. And at that point he took that money and he went out and bought himself a brand new house. So at this point he didn't have any car payments. He didn't have a house payment. He had virtually no bills. He had gas, health insurance and all this other stuff. In the third year, he ran the business. He did close to a million dollars. Once again, at the end of the year, after all expenses, he had about $500,000, $600,000. And then he began to get into some type of investment. There was some other stuff that he and his brothers were talking about. I think they invested in a nightclub. So he became an investor. And this is just the power of a service business. A service business can make you a gang of money if you learn how to be the boss and not learn how to be the worker bee. 
because essentially I would suggest that you start a work service business depending upon where you are, what your pockets look like. You know, if you're in a position where you can hire people, I urge you to hire people and to learn how to become an operator and a manager of the business versus being the business. This is one of the big mistakes that so many entrepreneurs make. But essentially, starting a service business, house cleaning business, car wash, lawn service, tree, there are literally dozens of different types of service businesses you can start. And if you start it from this blueprint of setting up a situation where you are a boss, where you own the business and you hire people to do the work, you can exponentially scale rather quickly based upon your ability to market. I've had several people who have taken me up on this. I remember this one girl, she started a cleaning service and essentially she hired her sister and cousin. And essentially they would go out and clean these houses and she created a $350,000 a year business within one year and she wasn't doing the work. This is the power of a service business. Once again, you've got to learn how to market. Craigslist is a good place to market. Facebook is a good place to market. And the internet's a good place to market because if you learn how to use Google AdWords, literally you could get jobs from Google AdWords every single day. So this is how you can make $1,500 to $5,000 on top of your job income per month with 60 to 90 days to 180 days. Get it started from scratch today, get it rolling, and think of all the services that you can create. Think of all the things that you can put together. Think of the business models that you can put together. To help you, I am doing something this month called a corporate toolbox. What it is, is I'm gonna teach you how to set up your legal strategy and to start, structure, and scale your company. It is my goal in the next five years to create 50,000 corporate citizens. What is a corporate citizen? This is someone that enjoys the advantages of being a corporate person, having LLCs, holding companies, and all of the income and tax advantages that come with that. The link is below. You can get in for $2,400 one-time payment, or you can get in for $150 a month. So this is what's going on. Join me in becoming a corporate citizen so we can change your life and more importantly, change the lives of your children. So that's all I got for you guys right now. Be sure to go below and check out this next video.